Hi guys, DIY CNC Woodworker here with you again. I'm out in my garage workshop now uh, in the process of putting together a little step stool for my wife. Uh, Steve Ramsey, Mere, Mor Mere Mortals fame on YouTube. Uh, pardon the noise, I got the door open and cars are driving up and down the street. I got this uh, plan from him. He had shown it on his one of his uh, videos that he made this stool for her and I'm in the process of trying to do that. I also thought I'd give you a shot of some of my tools that I'm using that I have uh, working on a limited budget that I have to work with. Uh, I make do of what I have. I'm going to step behind the camera. Now if you've never bought or if you don't have one of these devices right oh, where are you going camera? Right here that's the best hundred dollars you'll ever spend. Uh, that does a fantastic job of sucking up and separating your dust from your uh, shop vac. And believe me, your shop vac will stay virtually empty. Of course, behind that is my rigid uh, contract, not contractor, but sh uh, portable shop saw. Best three hundred dollars I think I've ever spent. On top of that is a little four inch belt sander, disc belt sander that I've had for Lord years and years and years and uh, I'll press it into service every now and then and way over here if you can see it let me see if I can zoom in on that that's another little inexpensive uh, drill press that I bought I can't tell you 25 30 years well more than that 25 to 28 years ago been using it ever since. It's small, it's light in power, but uh, just cut a one and a quarter inch uh, hole. Uh, had to go lightly with it, but uh, it got through it eventually. And then, of course, over here, this is my, in lieu of having a bandsaw, this is my Rockwell saw that I use. I uh, don't have a bandsaw, but that works. Step back around here. It's basically it's basically an upside down jigsaw and I just cut this out on it and then I run it of course on the sander and uh, I have the other pieces of wood over here that have been all raw cut on the uh, uh, table saw and uh, I'm going to start working on them so that's basically it and there's my little workbench that we bought and put together it works pretty good. I try to put everything I have on wheels. You notice the workbench is on wheel. Oh, and I, I've mentioned before my router system over there, the white cabinet, and it's on wheels. Of course, this is on wheels. This is on wheels. <laughs> everything I have is on wheels because when I get done, I've got to move everything back over here in this corner underneath these cabinets that I built. There's my cabinets that I built in my garage. And I store everything back over there and then a uh, little under a half of the garage. That way I can get my car in the garage. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue some more pieces on the wood and do some more rough cutting. I'll be back in a moment. Back at it again. What I've been doing off camera is gluing all these templates on the wood that I need to cut. That's a center brace. And this is a leg, there will be two of them. I'll cut the one out and then use this one that I cut for the template for this one. This is the table top. And I've already cut. I've already cut the back rest handle. So that's where I'm at now. I've got these all glued up. I need to get my little blade runner down here up and put it on the table and uh, set these up to be cut. And uh, maybe I'll film a little of that, maybe not, we'll see. Be back with you in a minute. Now, this tool here is not a jigsaw by any by stretch of imagination, but it does a pretty good job. When you know the line, more people decide to show up. <laughs>
that in jigsaw for the first cut. Now, just to let you know, I have jigsaws in the plan. I've got a 14 incher I'm looking at. And it'll be later in the year project. I've got to give my checking account a little time to recuperate because I just ordered a joiner planer the other day. And it's being shipped as we speak. So, like I said, I've got to recuperate from that before I get the uh, jigsaw. I figured I had this blade runner, I could use it and my jigsaw also in the time then and uh, use that. And, uh, I needed the joiner more than I needed the jigsaw, so there you are. But uh, it'll come in due time. All right, I'm gonna pause again, let these lot more people get out of here. And uh, I'll continue cutting these, be back in a little bit.
like I said, you make do with what you have, and you do what you can do. That's okay. Now, what I've got to do is cut out that little rectangle there. We'll see how we're going to do that. Be back with you in a minute. I tried using my little make-believe bandsaw there, but it, it, it cut the hole out pretty well. But I've got to do a little chisel work here. Trying to get to use my Irwin chisels that my wife bought me for an anniversary gift. Well, actually, I bought it. She said, go online and get something you want. And this is what I got. Try to clean up these holes a little bit. I'm not taking off anything to be concerned with so I can use my my hand here, I think. I'm just trying to clean this up. The problem was that whatever it's called, Rockwell tool, I couldn't get this turned all the way around to get in there and cut with a blade, so I had to kind of nibble at it and nibble some of it off. And I'm going to end up cutting my darn hand off here, I can tell now. That's right I'm going. Next thing, leave me filming us going to the emergency room. That may be good enough. Let's see here. I think a little persuasion and that'll fit, so I'm going to call that good enough. Okay, next thing to do is clean up all these, this paper, get it off, and uh, start gluing this thing together. At least that's pulling off fairly easy. So I will be back with you when I got something else more. Okay, folks, this is my Summerfield Tool rider system that I have. I'm going to take and round over all the edges on this wood that I've cut out now.
about using this dang plywood, but this is just a quick and dirty build. It splinters. Splintered here. But that'll be up underneath this, fortunately, the inside of the leg, and it'll be up underneath the stool so it won't be clearly visible. Now I need to take a little sandpaper and finish rounding these over. I got some more to do, but I'm going to do it off camera and uh, finish that up. And then I'm going to call it today. My back's screaming at me like crazy right now, and I still got to clean up and do that. So uh, I'll pause the video for now and be back with you in a little bit. Oh, I wanted to mention also, me and my forgetful brain, you might notice I got my drive store back up a while ago just as I started to film. The young fella pulled up just across the street over here and parked and had his bebop, uh, hip hop, uh, reggae, whatever they call that music they listen to, these young fellas these days. And I didn't want to contend with that while I was trying to film the video. So, just a little something to add and make you day. I will be back with you momentarily. Well, folks, that's pretty much it. Put the shop to bed. Ah, get this zoom right. Anyhow, this is what it looks like when I'm not working in it. Everything has a place. Everything goes in its place. And I got a nice wide parking spot for my vehicle which is right here behind me wanting to go in because it's been out in the hot long enough. So, I'm going to call it a day right now. Continue this video tomorrow with the final glue up and uh, painting of the stool. That'll be done tomorrow. Talk to you again later. For now, this is a DIY CNC woodworker. To point out, uh, as this is my garage, and they only provide me one AC outlet up here, and that's over there behind those hanging baskets. I bought those two little hanging baskets you see there and I got a little short power cord plugged into the AC outlet and then I got that power cord screwed to the wall and then my two orange power cords that I have I run out and plug in all my equipment with so I'm switching between machines and whatever I need to plug in but I can plug in two devices and that's not uh, optimal but uh, hey it's what I have and it's what works and that's what I've got so 
I just thought I'd point that out. I've got my sander set up here and uh, I'll be back in a moment.